and this is Nemesis Insider. Insider? I barely know her. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh He's God. at it again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nemesis Insider, the show Hi, where we, <laughs> where we interview your favorite content creators from Team Nemesis. I'm your host, James Autumn, and right below me is... Vengeance, hello! We call him Chase. Your How are you doing, Chase? Your streamer. <laughs> 23 you know seconds. 23 <laughs> seconds. 23.72 seconds, to be specific. I am so happy. I, I had it all played <laughs> in my head, too. I was like, I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to see James' reaction. <laughs> Anyways! Let's take the time to say hello to Skittles, Fire458, Dr. Doom, Tastic, Poggle38, uh, Captain IVG, Doc Plays, Doc plays. Not and Nate Paul. Hall. Well, Man. if you're not Nate Hall, who are you? Why are you confusing me? Anyways. He's hating all. Like, he's hating all. <laughs> oh, that's even more confusing. Yep. Ah. So. Anyways. <laughs> we do have a special guest, Chase. We have someone from the oh. VTuber universe. Uh, they play a lot of amazing games. I've had the pleasure to play Halo with them and Battlefield. You remember them days, the old Battlefield oh, the days? Oh, the old Battlefield days. Yeah. Hello, Mayonnaise. Welcome. Um... We have someone by the name of Koi Zumi with us. Wait, where's Koi? Huh? Oh, hey. Hello. Hey. There Hi. you are. Did you forget we had an interview today? We got to get decent. Come sleep, on. Because it's comfy down here on the tatami mats. Oh. We'll go back to sleep. Oh. Goodbye. You okay, goodbye. Asleep during the intro? Oh. Well, that was the show, yeah. everybody. <laughs> that was the show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How are you? In the oh. in the time I was sleeping down there, something went completely over behind me. Uh -oh. I don't know what happened, but went th things went. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You have a very know. nice I apartment. Can hear you Koi. all still, so that's fine. <laughs> I don't live here. I don't know who lives here. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> Wait, you're you're Wait. Interview being interviewed from someone else's place. Are Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I so I cool. just traveled to this world and they was like, hey, this is nice. Yeah. I don't know what's out there, but it's nice and shiny and bright. <laughs> is that I'll a fish clear. tank to your uh, to your right? Well, we're... that way? Or <laughs> yeah, that way. way. That, that way. That, uh, that way. Yeah. That way's outside that, that and way. that's just glass. Oh. I don't oh. know if you know, but there's grass out there. You, you oh. It, and it feels... Oh, I don't know what nice that is. Skin. A lot of people need to try touching grass, huh? I, I, I know, I right? Touched grass barefoot in quite some time. <laughs> I like how Poggle, Skittles, and Doom are just all lolling in chat at my stupid shenanigans. <laughs> they are quite used to it, huh? Yes, very. So, Koi, it's tradition that we ask, where'd you come from? What, what brought you to our space of streaming? What what Where'd what you made go? you get this passion for all this uh, VTube stuff? In any order, feel free to just well, unleash. Well, I was up in heaven for a while, then did some oh. stuff, and they kicked me out. Then Ooh. I went down, way down below, to Georgia. Well, <laughs> some other places. And then I got kicked out of there, too. Uh, and now I've been here in the multiverse. Hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, <the laughs> but in re realistically, um... I just like playing games, having fun, and I decided to start streaming because I didn't really have anything else to do at the time. Okay. That sounds about right. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Well, kind of a lot of ways streamers start. It's just like, I got nothing else to do. Hey, what's that? Go live? Okay, click. I'm going to touch these buttons. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to touch some buttons. Oh, shoot. Now I have people watching me. Oh, uh, uh. For me, it's like, I'm going to touch some buttons. In virtual <laughs> reality. Whoa! <laughs> and you know, getting that low is really hard on the knees. I'm so wow. amused. I love this. This is very. <laughs> oh yeah! If you don't know, I'm actually in full body VR tracking using a VR headset, trackers, one on my hip, one on my foot, uh, one on my left foot, and VR controllers to do all these wiggly movements. Mm. Like no. right now, my actual tracking is messed up, so I need to recalibrate. 
Oh, oh you're T-posing. Whoa, asserting dominance already. Wow. Oh, no. All right, all right, guys, so this is a Koi show now. <laughs> so whatever they want to do. I mean, I do have the biggest screen I know, but... here. Anyways, I guess let me ask a good old question. Yeah, go How does one up. get into VR? Like, well, first you have roughly four hundred to a thousand dollars. Gotcha. So, <laughs> like, do you need a high? Do you need a high like PC? Like, how, how does all this stuff work? I guess I, I'm 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 well, a nerd and I don't honestly, know. Honestly, you really need just about a, a like equivalent equivalent to like a second gen Ryzen and maybe just a a 1080 to even just a 2070 and you can pretty much run vr quite nicely i smacked something in real life <laughs> yeah. fudge i said fudge uh-huh but um <laughs> realistically you don't need a really super high-end pc to play vr games um for the most part it's just being able to get things up and running and one of the better products for vr lately has been the quest 2 not sponsored but it's one of those lower end pc um hardwares that you can use for Quite a few VR applications, including games like Beat Saber, VR Chat, as well as just like that's just uh, two examples I have. But you can play a plethora of VR games. It's not too difficult to get into, and you don't exactly need even a PC to play because there's quite a few standalone VR headsets coming out. Again, Quest Two is the best example I have. Gotcha, gotcha. That's... So I don't need to go spend like two thousand dollars on a Vive, right? Oh heck no! Vive actually <laughs> only roughly. Best value for your buck would be an index because the index kit is only 1k USD, which it comes with the headset, um, controllers, and two lighthouse base stations. Oh, you don't want something like me, which is completely out of proportion because I like technology. Me too. Wow, I did. I that is technology gets too bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't love ask what I have. Please so don't. Much. I don't want to say everything. <laughs> If, but if you really must know, I will answer. You know, my only question is, is how do you get them moves? How, can, can you teach me how to dance? What? Just wiggle? <laughs> is that it? Just wiggle? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Dancing's cool. Um, well, it's mainly listening to the music and listen, um, matching the rhythm with something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what do you normally stream on your channel? Um, I play anything from VR Chat, which is a social world exploring game, which user generated world well users explore user created worlds, and these worlds can range from anything like this, which is actually a beach map. And I'm currently mm. sitting in a nice little casual apartment here, <laughs> or like Tatami Matt Shrine Room, to game and mini game worlds. Um, I play things like uh. FPS games, such as, like you said earlier, Battlefield, Halo. Heck, maybe even dip into Tarkov at some point. Ah! Ah! I wasn't... <laughs> mentioned it! <laughs> <laughs> he was just dying on the inside, waiting to talk about it. <laughs> but then there's also games I play, such as um, things like War Thunder, which is a World War II vehicle game. Yeah. Or stuff like um, 2D platformers, such as well, a lot of other games that are like that. Well, one I was playing recently was called Web, which you're a spider exploring stuff. But oh. So, like, um, FPS games like Destiny 2. Great tomorrow. So excited. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to kill Oryx again. <laughs> That's right. The new D2 update is coming with King's Fall, right? Oh, yeah. Season of Plunder is already out. And King's Fall is tomorrow. I'm going <laughs> to kick Oryx's ass again after five <laughs> years. Woo! <laughs> Don't you think it's crazy that they're adding D1 stuff to D2? Oh, not really, because a lot of people wanted D1 stuff back. Yeah. But yeah. I like that they're doing a lot of content, like um, bringing it back, but refreshing it and making it new. Because like Vault of Glass, which is an original Destiny 1 raid, um, it got brought back, but everything was revamped. The mechanics were familiar, but different, where it became a little bit more complicated, a little bit more challenging. But, oh, so very good. Hmm. So they're refreshing content, but they're updating it and making it better, which is the best thing to do. It is. It yeah, is. I agree with that. They're <laughs> not forgetting about, you know, what made them, and that's beautiful. Oh, All yeah. Right. Koi, very, very, oh. very serious question here. 
Hello. What is your favorite advanced GG flavor? Ooh. Strawberry shortcake. Easy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I drink, I it, with, I, I drink with milk and ice cubes, which See? is really good. Converse has been yelling at me to drink it with milk, and I've just yet to yes. do it. It's a great flavor with it. It really is. It's delicious. James, why don't we tell our audience how they can try different advanced flavors and also oh. get a discount on it? You can try yeah. your very own Advanced GG. There's some great sampler packs on advanced.gg right oh now. And you can also get a shaker with them. Uh, even one like mine, which is the Black Metal Shaker. And if you want to save on your purchase, just type in code NEMESIS. I need like a little magic letter thing to pop up. When hey, we, need a, we need a... <laughs> We need Maz. Like, <laughs> Maz, we need the graphic. Come on. <laughs> I need a graphic that just imagination. <laughs> imagination. Oh, thank right y'all. This is the uh, this is the new uh, audition for the show. He's gonna try and take over my spot from now on, and I vote it's just entertain y'all. Oh, <clears throat> no. adorable! It's adorable, little fucker. I want to give it that. Hmm. Yeah, Chosky insisted on being here for Koi, especially because Chosky is a huge Koi fan. Give the pupper head bats with me, thank you. <laughs> I wish I actually recorded it because I was watching you stream the other day and he started clawing oh. at the screen trying to talk to you. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, do, I do, I need to, do I need to go get my puppers too? Or are we just doing a puppers episode? If you want to go get I your mean, puppers. I could get mine, but you wouldn't see them because I'd just be being like, here's my puppy. And you're like, <laughs> like we don't see anything. I swear they're in my hands. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog do you have, Koi? I have two Boston Terriers. They're both really? about three years old. I got them in 2019. Oh, wow. Are they from the same uh, uh, litter? Uh, No. I got one on May 26th. Um, which was the day after I started streaming, funnily enough. And then a couple months later, after the other older dog of mine passed away, we got another pupper about three weeks after. Oh, wow. So they're both around the same age. <laughs> but one's, one's tiny at about 20 pounds, and the other one's huge at about 30. <laughs> <laughs> and we can barely see the dog from Chase's angle. Go. Oh, look. Who's this? One? This is Hurley. Oh, okay, okay. You've seen this pupper. Oh, don't you <laughs> don't Oh, you no. Yell. You're okay. She has long hair, so sometimes when I pick her up, it does pull, and she doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, wow. So, this is a great time to say while we're, while we're taking a, a nice pet break to, to pet, that if you guys have any questions for our dear Koi, now is the time to start sending them in through the chat. We appreciate you being here. Uh, don't know what Koi is dancing to, but they are um, just magnificent. Koi has their own music in their head. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have a auditory processing disability, so I'm always having music in the background to act as like a filter for most things. Because really? I can hear you just fine even with my music on. It just acts as a filter to uncover noise. Okay. Can you can you explain a little bit more about that? Because it it seems strange to have music to filter the other noise. Because um. Know, so I'm a neurodivergent person, meaning that um, the neurological side of my brain is kind of messed up. And that's caused me quite a few disabilities, including um, auditory processing. Um, I also have tactile dysfunction, which messes with everything, every way I like feel stuff. Oh. Um, for the auditory processing, it's that... Think of that everybody else is drinking like a soda through a normal straw. And then for me, it's like I'm trying to drink that same soda through one of those tiny coughing stir, stir straws. You know, the really small ones that you just use to stir coffee up or you used to. So it's kind of, I, I, I mean, I have no idea, but like the way you're describing it is it's like, it's a lot more, it's harder for sound to get to you. It's harder for me to process a lot of sound and I can actually become overwhelmed and just kind of go... Oh, so wow. basically, I use like no, I use a specific noise as a filter. So for me, I'm using m the music to organize whatever other sounds I'm hearing. That's it's a really type of coping mechanism I've had to develop over so many years of dealing with this. Yeah, that's very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. And it does make a lot of sense. I agree, Nova. 
it helps me concentrate on just one if i concentrate <laughs> on one sound it helps me filter out either unwanted noise or other noises that may um mess with me and that way i can also either hear different alerts for streaming or i can also um concentrate on conversations like you two because i'm not missing a beat that's fantastic I always wondered because when you're playing uh, games like Destiny and other shooters, you do have some music going at the same time too. And usually, you feel like, especially when you do like Call of Duty and stuff, you feel like it's it, that's the time where you don't want music. So, yeah, you, you do uh, really well on that. I mean, James, you you coming from my standpoint, I also do that. You do. I, I mean, I just have music low in the background. <laughs> mm-hmm. To where like, I can still hear the game, but like music is also there. Because, like, I can, I can guess, like, for games like Tarkov, where you need to hear footsteps coming around a corner or hear a shot, and you have to know which direction it's coming from before mm-hmm. you get um, smacked. Ain't that right, Vengeance? It is. <laughs> it is, because it's happened to me a lot. Or you got to hear someone jump into a bush, or, or you got to hear their pitter-patter as they're running as they weigh 9,000 pounds going. <laughs> or if they're reloading, and that's the time for you to strike. See? I've done that! I've done uh-huh. that! And I've never played Tarkov, but I know enough about it to be safe relevant to the conversation. Yay! Yay. See, James, this is this is what I this is what I need. You need you a Tarkov this? podcast. Yes, I know. I know. We we're we're getting, getting on it. Maz, add it to the to do list. <laughs> add it to the list, Maz. We have a lot of things we need to talk about for next <laughs> next time. Koi, cool. yeah. what kind of music do you like? Um, I actually listen to oh, anything from alt rock to electronic house. Ooh. Well, electronic house music, which is like I started listening to <laughs> things like Green Day, Coldplay, Linkin Park when I was really young, and then I've kind of broadened that to light metal, um, to rock, alt rock, things like Evanescence to Paramore, and I've uh, brightened my horizons by listening to house which is a variety of music that relies mainly on synthesized sounds for electronica. Oh, that's so cool. We got a question from chat. (laughs) Yeah, go for it. Before you go in, Pog Mm -hmm. wants to know if you remember to eat before this interview. I had pizza. All right. (laughs) That's the best way to do it. It, it, Paul Gold is basically my caretaker. (laughs) They remind me to eat food and hydrate. All right, Poggle <laughs> seems satisfied. <laughs> pizza sounds really good. <laughs> Welcome, pizza was confused good. It was Charles. Pizza. Mm-hmm. Also, Charles, please stop being confused. There's no need to we be confused. We don't like confused. a confused Charles is always confused. I'm always in a state of dazed and confusion. <laughs> <laughs> dazed and confused, great. Also, movie, this is actually way. what I'm facing right now. It's just a giant oh. fucking mirror. Wow, look at that. There's two of you. Oops. Wow. Well, it's just a it's just a giant mirror wall like one of those in a dance studio. Oh. Um, if you don't VR chat, this is what people just. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> 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 we were amused for fifteen oh. minutes before the podcast, y'all. Just watching Koi walk around apartments. It, we've never seen anything like this in our lives. <laughs> well, I thought like I just... said. I, I've seen I've seen Jester do a little bit of VR chat, but I've never really delved this deep into it. I and mean, I, I can I just be like this. Here's oh, a wow. nice, a nice beach, nice little view. Wow, that's really relaxing. So the weather's nice and warm there. It looks like a little bit of wind. Mm-hmm. Wow, it is very nice. That is There's some birds Imagine flying if around. Make it to where you can like feel weather in VR. Oh, um, do you want me to tell you about a VR technology that kind of does that? Yes. Sure. So there is a piece of tech called a haptic suit. And you know what haptic is? Mm-hmm. Vibration. Like, like if you're playing a game on a console and it vibrates, that's a haptic feedback. And so there is a company called B Haptics that actually makes a makes haptic suits, which is like a chest and back thing, as well as like little cuffs, collars that you put on your arms, your legs, and with VR chat, there's plugins that you can do. So if you touch somebody there, it will rumble and it give you haptic feedback. That's so you know, cool. I think I've really seen that before. Cool. I think someone on TikTok, um, Jinji, I think her <laughs> name, I don't know. But she does a bunch of VR stuff and she does have a haptic suit. And she'll, what it's like to get uh, 
Fusro Dodd with a haptic suit on, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's God. cool. No, the worst thing is when somebody you know has a freaking spider avatar, and they run it across your back. You hear that, and you feel it run. And you're just like, no! <laughs> 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 it's terrifying, I tell you what. Wow, so yeah, no, I, I would not like that. That'd be yeah, scary. Really fun. So Koi, you don't wear a full body suit for this, do you to track like your movements? Uh no. So what I do is I wonder if these are actually show up on camera right now. Uh no they won't. So what I have is I have two Valve Index controllers. I have Valve Index VR headset, which is slowly dying. And then I have one t tracker on my hip, so if I move it, you can see me wiggling. Then there's one on my foot, and there's one on my other foot. Wow. I can have, have up to I can have up to eight trackers on me, which would be tracking my upper arms, my upper legs, as well as my chest, which would give me a lot smoother and a lot a larger range of articulation in my movements. It that looks like so you cool. got a good amount of range, <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah, the actual tracking for this, which is a, like a skeleton body, does well with tracking the movements because it's had years of development. Huh. Come on. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> this is, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm not talking that much, but this <laughs> is just very mesmerizing we're enthralled we were so excited to have you on koi because like you do oh, all this you. cool tech I'm, stuff <laughs> i'm really excited to be on here it's really cool i don't get to do these types of things too often that's so, really awesome how'd you come to get with Nem nemesis how'd that relationship start crunk asked me to join i was like okay cool <laughs> friends <laughs> i love this nice answer <laughs> so crunk was your friends. introduction so, yeah, Krunk basically is, hey, I see what you're doing. I like you. You want to join our team, kid? <laughs> like, okay, you're going to go far. <laughs> it was, I have, the, I have the thing up right now. It said, hi there, Krunk here from Nemesis. I'm so sorry I didn't reach out to you earlier. We've been actually take, talking quite a lot about you and your stream lately. You're very unique, as is this VTube trend. While we have one streamer already on our ranks that, who does VTubing with their stream, we still don't know a whole lot about it, and we would need to study it more. Our recruiter, Obedo, talked about 60-day trial as far as Nemesis goes, and it goes on like that. It was actually Obedo who contacted me, and I, th and then Crunk got back to me, which is really cool. <clears throat> and so I had a trial awesome. period, it went well, and so I'm here in Nemesis still. Because, like, <laughs> y'all have been really good peoples. Like, Aww. Incel, you, James... Avengers, as well as a plethora of other um, streamers for Nemesis GG, have been all kind, amazing, wonderful, and caring people. And I just like, yeah, really cool. Good people to play with. Now, aside from Chase, uh, the amazing go. thing was before he uh, just tried to destroy his camera there. But uh, I, I, it was at thirty Chase, frames. It bothered me. I could tell it was at thirty frames because when I went like I this, I could see my hands. That. You could see your hands when you when you I did that. I could see like you know what I mean. Like you could see where your finger was. Chase, look at your hands. Can you see them? Ah, oh. there we go. Oh. He fixed it. But no, what I was trying to say is, aside from Chase, Koi, you were actually the, one of the first people to raid me from Nemesis. Hey, yo. Nice. Yeah, like, when I got on, and I actually got in the team, it was like, probably the very next night, you brought like 30 people my way, and I was like, oh, this is, this is somebody I gotta talk to. This is somebody I gotta I see what's up with. And then you came to my stream, like, <laughs> this guy's a weirdo. And then I got to say this weird guy, things to you. Girl. You <laughs> Thing. We're all weirdos here, let's be honest. Wow. Everyone's a weirdo I deep down. I am literally a virtual fallen angel in virtual reality. How am I not weirder? Whoa. <laughs> okay, are you woeing <laughs> about the eyes? Because me too. Them oh, eyes are just look at the gorgeous. Eyes? Yeah, bring it in. Wow. Wow. I mean, I have that. avatars that have better eyes than this. Yeah. Uh, nope. This is amazing. Um, huh? This is more of a test model than anything. Oh, but we're getting that. sneak peeks! New we're fashion! Sneak peeks. I still need to work on this one more about the eyes. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. what is one of your favorite outfits, especially when you're doing a game? 
Uh, for me, I like to wear this one a lot recently, which wow. this is like a streetwear dancer type outfit. And it's yeah. a really nice one. It has quite a few unique things. I've worked with this one with a couple friends of mine. I've had them do quite a few of the little touches oh, on it for cool. me. That's cool. Um, excuse the bulba, but if you actually look carefully in, in on the on right oh, here, oh, it does say koi. <laughs> it says koi. If you look in there a little bit more, it actually has my full name going around the around That's it. That's awesome. Oh, and then there's this little detail on the back. Branding. Too. The branding. Yeah, look at that. That is right. amazing. It has my shackles, has my bandages, my broken mm -hmm. halo. And I had that commission. It wasn't too much. <laughs> but it kind of really suits this as like a streetwear punk style outfit. Yeah, I was going to say it's That's got a very cyberpunk, b-boy, b-girl kind of uh, aesthetic to it. Homo, homo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, everybody for me, follow the channel, please. Thank you. <laughs> I swear yeah. I was following before, but for some reason I got unfollowed. Yay, welcome. Hi. Thank you for the follow, happens. Koi Zumi. Who's Koi Zumi? They just oh, followed well, us. I don't That's know. crazy. My wow. debacle. <laughs> it's almost it, it's, it's almost like we might be interviewing them, James. I don't know. Oh, what? We're doing an interview? I thought we were just hanging Are with we? someone that's like at a at a Japanese resort, it looks like almost. They're just on Boy. vacation chilling. <laughs> that Maybe. is so awesome. I'm now looking know. for a world to take over the stream with. Oh, okay. Okay. I need to find it. Oh, wait. I have it bookmarked. <laughs> Sounds like a gremlin. I love it, heathen. <laughs> Uh, all the cool emotes in chat, too, by the way. Love the support. Oh, there was this guy. Uh, well, uh, 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 uh -oh. there it is. You'll be fine. Oh, there, I'm just something swapping universes. <laughs> oh, well, I guess cool. while we're swapping universes and things like that, we can get into the question, why Koizumi? Like, what made you choose that name? Oh, well, um, so I used... I used to play a game called World of Tanks. There's actually a mirror right here, but you can't see it. Um, I used to play a game called World of Tanks, which is a tank arcade shooty game. Mm -hmm. And I had one username, which was my IRL name and numbers. And I had a second account called Koizumi, which was the name of a character from an anime that I liked. I fucked up that one account by stupidly selling stuff, so I swapped over to the other account called Koi. And I just kind of stuck with that. And wow. it's been it's two thousand it's been nine years and nine going on ten years since I've used that username. Oh wow. I think So I've I got my, my username for a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that fun. And the rest is history. I mean look at how far you've gotten now with the name. It's for such real, a unique yeah. name. Yeah, it's nice. So this is a map called Scanner. Oh. It's a scanner thing. What, what are you gonna scan? Darkness. We're we're going with Koi on their typical work shift. They're gonna go scan <laughs> some stuff. Oh, they're making oh, some I've art. Oh, I've seen this game before. I've seen this or not game, but world thing. I've seen this before. It's awesome. <laughs> that is really really fun. Look at that. So you see the darkness here, yeah? Yeah. There's things in the darkness, James. Oh wow, yeah. It's such a cool fucking world. This is what I love about <laughs> VR. Because you can see it. It's actually an entire, like, room here that I'm in. That I'm. Oh my gosh. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> I know, right? And, like, I don't know where to go. So I'm just throwing the scanner everywhere. Oh, oh it's wow. fucking cool. So if you look right here, you see over there? Uh-huh. This for the perspective changes. Oh, look at that. There's... Oh, wow. So that, there's like two paths here. Which one should I take? So there's one that goes up um, that way more, and then there's one that goes this way. Okay, chat, where are we going? Y'all decide. Chat, where are we going? This interview is totally different from everything else. <laughs> I told you I'd be coming right? to a world to hijack the interview. <laughs> up. And what did Nova I do? Says up. Left. Up. Up left. Oh, uh, we're 50-50. We up. need a tiebreaker. Poggle said left. Okay. Come on, tiebreaker. One more person, chat. Where are we going? Are we going down that way? Or up that way? So, basically, Nova <laughs> said right, Pago said left. 
Okay, I'll go. No, Doctor <laughs> said up. Everybody's set up. Don't... This is now found footage. Oh, that's so cool. Man set up. This is cool. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, interview. Oh, Wait, hi. we're doing an interview. <laughs> Hello. This is all so about the So that's the, the world edge right there of a room down there. And you can actually see that there is a tunnel. Oh, I see it. Yeah. And then what? there's this entire wall here. And this is all made with, like, Unity and Blender and all that. As you can see, Yo! I'm just painting everything. <laughs> so there's a tunnel that goes down there. I could hop back down there, and if you see that blob of lights right there, yeah. that is, that's a, another way to go. Oh, I could man. go down there. So, so now, this is like a full maze? This? How do you find stuff like this in VR? Oh, that's easy. So, if I actually close out my menu, you can see my hands. Uh -huh. So, this is first person. So, here's the actual menu. And if I go to Worlds... You can see that there is a plethora of <sighs> virtual reality worlds here just to explore. You have some on Spotlight, you have some cross-platform ones, which these are games like there's a Battle, a Tombow Battlefield remake, Battle Discs, you know, from the what's that? What's that Beyblade? game called? No, not Battle Discs, you know the ones that they oh. throw? Oh, um, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's even like virtual mini golf too. Chess, freeze tag. Um, there's oh, you know the the anime called Ruby? Yeah. R W E Y. Yeah. So whoop, got to my menu. So this is a four one to four player Ruby world where you battle Grim. Which <sighs> yeah, that's freaking cool. <laughs> there's prop hunt, there's no uh no time to talk. I don't know. Tower defense. There's so many different worlds. Kitchen Cooks, which is a cooking game. There's even a surf map. Oh my gosh. Actually, this one's really good. Yeah, see, like, this stuff's cool. You can actually see my controllers. If you look here, you can see my trackers, too. Oh, there's the hip Whoa! tracker and two feet. Yeah. That's so awesome. I think I'm now in limbo. We need to get VR, Chase. Load. We do. We need to get VRs. <laughs> Nemesis Insider in VR next week? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only thing about about VR, it takes time to get used to, as well as some things like this happen where it decides to stall. Oh, <laughs> sad. So how long can you wear the whole VR thing before you're like, I need to, I need to dis, you know, stop disorienting myself? How well? Um, for me, it really depends on what I'm actually doing in virtual reality. Because some days I can go upwards of nine hours, wow. and then I actually need to swap my uh, controllers. But um, I can probably go upwards of 15 to 16, depending if I want to swap out my controllers and keep going. Usually I spend four to five hours in VR, or well, three to five. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. So is this uh, your regular space you're in now? So this is just a home world that I usually come back to because it is comfy and chill. Oh, oh this is like a lobby area, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I saw an anime up on a TV. What was yeah, the anime? Actually. I don't know. You got stuff like here, which is kind of looked like Plunderer. Not gonna lie. Place. Oh, you seen Plunderer? I like Plunderer. Dude, great anime. Loved it. Yeah. I feel like I've hijacked this interview a bit too much. No, this is all about <laughs> you. This, this is, is what. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the whole interview. <laughs> we're we're letting the people of Nemesis know more about Koi. Yeah. So let's 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 ask you a question, okay? So like, what what are the benefits to VR? compared to being like a regular camera streamer like me and chase like w w what well, works for you more myself. so well i so benefits would be is that i don't have to worry about how i look on any other day because i don't need to really get myself looking pretty for the cameras mm -hmm. and for me i can if you're good at making avatars um i've recently gotten my skills up with them you can create a plethora of different outfits which can be really quite fun. Um, I can also have a persona of either really hyper, really chill. I can be a boy or a girl going, Hello, hi everyone. How are you all doing well? Hi. Aww. Or I can do, 
Hello, I'm Koi. It's good. Well, there it goes. Oh no! They broke it. They broke it. Koi got broke, dude. Now I'm confused like Charles. What's happening? I think we're all confused like Charles. You know, I think I told them the other night that I love their name. Confused Charles, I love your name, but I think you're a bright lad. I don't think you're 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 as confused as you confess to be. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna oh, wait yeah, momentarily. Holy crashed. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome again to Nemesis Insider. Mm -hmm. Um, your two hosts tonight, as always, are Mr. James Autumn. And myself, Vengeance. Uh, James, where can they find you at? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the James Autumn. TikTok at real James Autumn because TikTok had a little thing where the account got broke. But we're back with that. We're trying to get regular on that. And you can find me on Twitch at James Autumn. Just James Autumn. <clears throat> and there you, you can go. I did warn of issues. You sure did, Koi. We will we will be awaiting your return. And yeah, Chad, if you guys want to watch me get mad at Tarkov and uh, hate hate everything for three to four hours every you know at least four to five times a week, uh, you can check check me out. You've seen me type in <laughs> chat, all that little all that good stuff. Hello, um. You can find me on Twitter at VengeanceGTTV. Find me on TikTok, Vengeance Gaming, YouTube, Vengeance Gaming. Actually, very lucky to get the same name across all the platforms. These days, it's, it's really kind of tough beautiful. without doing it really the real or official. But, but yeah, you know. if, I don't Ooh. know. We're both very chill people. Yeah, we we like a range of video games, and we're just energetic well, souls turned into a i've kind of turned into a tarkov main that's like the main game that you will see me stream doesn't mean i don't you know sometimes branch off and play another game or something like that but that's just kind of what we've been up to pinky <laughs> bola welcome in antari akiyama welcome in Corey, what's up welcome 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 Everybody here, um, we are waiting for Koi to come back. If you do have any questions to send to Koi, we will uh, gladly accept them in chat and try to give them out as soon as Koi comes back. But uh, a little bit about Nemesis Insider is it's just a simple interview show. There's no elaborate stuff to it. We bring in a creator. We have fun. We learn about them. We live in their world. And literally with uh, Koi, we, we have been, but... Uh, Sadly, there are issues with the VR world. It's it's not perfect, and Koi did mention the uh, headset slowly dying. Let me try getting VR working. If not, we'll switch to desktop mode. Sure thing, yeah. Whatever works, Koi. We are happy to have you here. And yeah, uh, you know, it's it's just amazing. Definitely follow at Koizumi TV on Twitter so you can... Uh, Check out all their artwork and when they're going live. And you'll also be able to see that link for their Twitch. A lot of fun content. I've seen Koi play JRPGs to fully online shooter games. So Koi is a great variety streamer. Offers a lot. Definitely. The just chatting, as you can see, is always a fun time. They just move around. They're really good with... Uh, interacting yeah good little intermission uh we're, we we do try our best here and i know we're almost at the 45 minute mark but we'll give you we're a little bit of extra time mark. because uh 49 technically chase according 50 to 50 minutes according to twitch we're at 50 no it says 49 mine says 50 <laughs> don't argue with me in front of our friends man come on what? Yeah, i'm just telling you what why you always says. gotta do this why can't you I didn't do anything. we've been working on a show for months and then you just go into this every time you knew this when you <laughs> said you wanted me <laughs> just, well you know sometimes it's just it's just gotta be cool okay let's fine, not fight in front of the kids i don't know what i don't know what yeah, there. Yeah, we're, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Chat, if you can tell Chase that he's great and I love having him here, <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm not speaking to him at the moment. Uh, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, that's a great uh, question, Aurora, aka Antare Akiyama. Uh, how was the new? How has the new anti cheat for VR chat affected your content, lady? Now no, that mods are not allowed. That is a huge that. issue for all the VTubers and people who just love VR chat in general. So we're gonna have to definitely remember that to get I Koi's view. Kind of wanna jump you know, jump a little bit off of that, is what kind of mods were people doing with VR chat that they had to do an anti-cheat? Um, I'm being told from professionals, because I know a lot of other uh, people that use VR chat, and they say that generally the big thing about it is, is that models can be stolen with certain hacks. And that's why oh. anti-cheat has cracked down, because these models... And the reality is that these models can cost upwards of thousands of dollars to be made for their headsets, for all these uh, body mods and different things, the trackers. Like, everything that's detailed costs a lot of money if you go to whatever source. And uh, Koi actually did type up a response. It says, hasn't changed my content too much, to be honest. It did sour my view on VRC, but I am glad to see quality of life coming more officially. So... I'm assuming, yeah, there, there's like some mods that are officially being added to kind of keep the anti-cheat up, but they're also still catering to their audience because uh, they did lose a ton of subscriptions to their VRC Plus, I believe is what the service was called, that allowed for these mods to be made and utilized. And uh, Nova says, and the reason people are upset is because some people with disabilities use mods to help them play the game. Okay, so there's extra control features as well to do all the mini games that vrc offers it's definitely an expansive world and a misconception is is that you do not need a headset to have fun with vr chat you can have the desktop mode and just have fun with it that way as well so definitely keep that in mind folks if you do have friends with that and you want to hang with them i've actually used it to uh, watch movies with people uh, a couple of my friends they like to do movie nights they have this cool little setup of where it's reactive to where when the movie makes noise lights go off in the room it's like a whole cool media center and the lighting is really nice for it so there's so many different things you can do for VR chat, and it's a nice way to chill. Really nice way. <laughs> oh, I see Nova. Okay, that makes that makes a little bit that makes sense, and that's really awesome. Like that <clears throat> sucks that they did implement that anti cheat. So now, like people that do have the disabilities, it makes them a little bit harder to play the game. But the fact that people have made mods that make it easier for that is just, that's awesome. And there should be some sort of code in that anti-cheat that's like, hey, we're going to allow this this mod, this mod, like, have, like, verified mods type deals where it's like, hey, this mod's good. Yeah. Like, we, they, we can use this. Now, Chase, I don't know if you know a lot of people with disabilities, but... For the people that I do know and that actually stream and stuff, seeing these accessibility features that actually help them play a game is mm -hmm. just beautiful, man. There's actually a, a streamer I know. He plays Smite. He is so cracked at it, and he does. He deals with uh, cerebral palsy. I believe I said that right. Oh, Some yeah. people say cerebral. cerebral. Palsy. Yeah, <clears throat> but he he deals with that and. He has special controllers made, and Smite actually has features that work with that controller. So it's always beautiful seeing game developers take that opportunity to go to that audience. You know, uh. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, hello. Welcome oh, back. Oh, hello. So my, uh. Everything died. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's no worries. Now you can see some art. That's a beautiful art. Who did this? Got different types of artists. This one currently is from my uh, my friend Angel Isle, who okay. actually did my reference sheet for my my avatar. This is a different one that was from a different person. I don't know all the artists' names exactly. I'm also getting something else up to um, compensate for the <laughs> brokenness. Oh, that's, that's, that's badass. That's, that's really oh, cool. Oh yeah, I also have this because this is actually my like game setup. Hi, how you doing? Whoa. You can't see me because there's two different <laughs> ones, but you can see yourselves down the corner. Oh, okay. I came here to grab a very specific thing. I wish I the crop on OBS I was captured say, that the better. The crop got killed somehow, and I don't yeah. know what happened. 
Don't it's worry, not... I'll fix it in a moment. <laughs> so, uh, the window. if you would, Koi, and, and by the way, Chase, if you don't mind, let's give Koi an extra few minutes since they had oh, yeah, some no, uh, problems. Oh, no, I'll be, I'll be fine in about a moment. Okay. Would you like to comment while we have you vocally for the, the whole anti-cheat thing that caused the VR chat community such a huge upset? Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, hi there. This is me, Koi. <laughs> Yay. Fit the screen. There we go. Hello. <laughs> I'm now um, on my second phase of existence, which is this is my desktop stuff. <laughs> We're just ah. happy to have you back. <laughs> ah, blah, blah. Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but um so the entire vr chat thing um for the anti-cheat um so the entire thing for the vr chat anti-cheat thing is that they put the the carriage before the horse in the sense of if they if they had put the quality of life stuff in the game uh before they put the anti-cheat in everything would have been fine people wouldn't have made such an uproar but instead they put the anti-cheat in before the quality of life updates and in the subsequent weeks um, they proved that they can make the quality of life things happen in the game on a short notice, but the thing that people got pissed off about is that they didn't for multiple years and months. Uh -huh. That's, like, the biggest thing. So think about it like this. If a developer... A developer... The community is asking for things, but the developer's not doing anything, and they constantly say, oh, it will take us so long to do this, this, and this. And then when the backlash happens, they they immediately put everything else they had on hold and then make all the make a good amount of the um i'm blocking that art you cannot see it <laughs> okay you can't it's too loose. spicy <laughs> <laughs> but no um it's like this they wanted they they made things that people wanted yes i can drag myself around hi i'm putting myself over here because <laughs> now you can see like some of the better art but no, they uh, they they made the quality of life updates, got a few of them that the community wanted, in just a matter of weeks rather than almost two years of updates that people didn't want, and that's one of the things that pissed people off even more so. Any cheat isn't too big of an issue. It's that they didn't put in any of the quality of life updates before <laughs> enacting it. Also, hi, I do have um another piece of technology called a um, uh, leap. Which is tracking my hands, and I can do this. Hello. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm learning so much stuff. Yeah. I, I apologize so about my scuffness. <laughs> I think my actual headset died because I've been having problems over the last couple of um, the last couple of weeks, and it's been deg degrading, and I think it finally died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. It fun. happens, though. It happens. Do That's you have a have backup? This as a backup. Well, okay. So I have this as a backup for desktop stuff, and I should have another headset that should work. Should. Should. <laughs> Keyword should. should. In theory. Should. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> if not, I have funds I can use to replace it. Or I could just put a community goal of, hey, my headset finally went kablooey. <laughs> it blew up on the Nemesis GG podcast. <laughs> we broke oh. coin! Great. Oh, gonna now we're going to get blamed for, for taking down <laughs> such a beautiful cell. Dang it. That's Maz, fine. we got to rewrite the show. Maz. Scrap Maz. It. <laughs> Scrap it. Let's start over. Compensation. Oh, God. There's an auto auto piece of art. Oh, oh my. wow. I tell you. Uh. That's Koi After Dark for you right there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Koi After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Just I love it. Dead. <laughs> yeah. oh hello wow that's actually twitch safe by the way you're you're right between the thighs i see i see yes <laughs> oh look at that digital painting it's amazing that's really really nice so you've oh, had a lot of artists contribute yeah um i've had a lot well for me i've com i've commissioned quite a few things but then there, I've, I've had stuff like this where it's like i need that in game like i need that so i just had it commissioned Okay. I like commissioning people. It's fun. Oh, uh, Fallout like, inspired. Like, oh my god. And stuff like that. That is um that is fan art. Yeah. That's one, some from Hellblaze. Jack made that. These I'm, fan arts are just amazing. Or all the art. Thank you. I try. 
That's so cool. Yeah. So, what questions do you have for Koi? How did did we miss any today? in chat, Chase? Did we I miss don't any? think we missed any. I think the only one that popped up was uh, the oh, anti Chase, my reference sheet. Yeah. Hey, so, so Koi, pitch Hi. yourself to the audience. Maybe those who don't know you. Like, like, oh. what's a blurb you can throw out? Hello, I am Koizumi, a Fallen Angel VTuber. I play games, have fun. I do many shenanigans from being uwu, like this piece of art here. Hello. <laughs> Are you going to change? Move. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, I, I like that one. I, like that one. <laughs> I play a lot of different games. Oh, God. Charles, get, thank you for gifting tier one sub to James in my channel. Fuck. Ah, thank you, confused Charles. Charles, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Nemesis GG to my channel. Motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> wow. This beautiful outpour from Koi's community. <laughs> Charles, thank you for getting Nemesis Gaming a tier one sub. All right. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I play games, have fun, do silly voices, I wiggle, dance, I go. Da, da, da. Hello, how are you doing? Are you being good boys today? Oh, well. <laughs> and I do a lot of stuff. Yes, I'd be good. So, we're not going to talk <laughs> about the fact that I thought I was following Koi and turns out I wasn't, <gasps> and now I'm like oh, very self conscious about everything that I'm doing right now. This is You're why fine. we give Koi a few extra minutes because this is should... fine. <laughs> oh my god, Chase. I wow. fixed it! I fixed it we have to set up before we we're supposed to fuck oh, oh, hello, Bola. Fixed it. hello 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 oh vengeance gaming thank you for the follow i appreciate it <laughs> i fixed it we're, we're gonna tweet that uh -huh. out too that we're gonna we're gonna say uh vengeance gaming has finally Yo. followed koizumi um what got, so pinkabola which is one of my friends asks what got me into vr yeah. um well uh do you Ugandan knuckles? Do you know the way? <laughs> yes, the Ugandan knuckles. Um, the do you know the way? Do you know my? Do you know the way, my brother? You are not the queen, my brother. That do you that know the way? as well as Drekwiz, which he's like, wah wah, wah wah, no wah wah, and then did said something completely in a deep voice, going, "Hello." I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> um. So basically, memes and whatnot got me in VR. Uh, what made me stay is that um, I was actually working late nights at a seatbelt factory, which um, I was inspecting seatbelts. If you don't know, the regulations behind seatbelts are actually quite strict, and if you don't adhere to the safety and the quality, they will get you. And um, I was inspecting seatbelts, doing that at late nights, and I'd get off work at like 12 a.m. and then hop on VR chat by like 2. And... I met some amazing friends um, from Australia, and they are the ones that uh, kept me playing VR chat. It was wow. a lot of fun. That's awesome. Wow. It sounds like it was a, a world of change for you, especially doing that kind of a job, which I've been in those factories. I've done factory work a lot oh, in yeah. my life, too. So, like, that, that drains your soul. So, like, having that escape to come home to sounds really, really nice. Never it was basically, done it. It was basically me escaping to a whole other reality because I would work eight hour shifts sitting down being like this where you'd have seatbelt running within four to eight lines in front of you oh wow! and i did that for eight hours just staring at a screen or staring at the seatbelt trying to feel carefully for defects managing the color or doing maintenance on the machines as well as it was really tough on the body because the room you're in was about 60 degrees while the out was 60 degrees and cold and dry and then when you stepped out, it was humid, and holy crap, it was probably within the hundreds, like probably 110 actually out on the floor. And so in between there, you would just get, you would feel so just out of it. Also, ubu artwork of my friend, <laughs> me and my, me and my friend Bananas. Oh, that's oh, Bananas, well. okay. Oh, oh well. Sneaky <laughs> Angel. I love that piece. <laughs> so amazing i know this is kind of weird but this is like this is actually my startup screen which i modified by adding this person in it which okay. this is my vrm as you can see it has um it has me talking and it's actually my microphone this is actually my microphone i got from beacon microphones Ooh. really good stuff fantastic i did say australia <laughs> sean plays yeah um, doc I plays and sean are both from australia so that's Isn't awesome. that weird that they both have plays in their name 
<laughs> and they're both from Australia. Is it must be an Australia like thing? It's gotta be an Australia <laughs> thing. <laughs> Probably. So Koi, uh Hello. we need to get close to wrapping up, but oh. you know, tell people why VR chat could be for them. S- sell it to them. VR chat <laughs> or just VTubing in general? Yeah, yeah. Both. both. Or whatever one you want to do. Don't yeah. matter. So, I mean they're kinda um, intertwined. I guess I'll go for VTubing in general. Um for being a virtual streamer or virtual content creator, it gives you the liberty to be anything you want. It gives you a way to express yourself in ways that you just physically can't. And it can give you a way to really be who you want to be rather than anything else. Like, I can be my fallen angel. Someone else can be a bunny girl, cat girl, an eldritch abomination playing video games and having fun. The only thing you're limited to is your imagination. And so that's one of the biggest draws of being a virtual content creator. You can be anything you want, and the community behind it's really accepting of who you want to be. As long as you are a good person in the end. <laughs> Always be a good person. That That's the takeaway, huh? Always be good yeah, people. Because, like, I, I try to be one, and my community is quite supportive, and I try not to ask too much, but they will support me in almost any endeavor I undertake, which is wonderful. I couldn't and, ask for more. That is the beautiful thing, and I have to say from just watching your streams as just a regular viewer and just someone being friendly with you that you do like throw out this different uh, vibe to your streams and you always welcome people and be entertaining and amusing. And I don't know, Mm. you you just have a lot of fun there and it's really beautiful to see. Mm. And that's, that's like what makes you a great part of Nemesis because we're so many different personalities in this team. And it's always nice to have someone that just, is so inviting like you were so inviting when mm. i first got here so i've been grateful ever since to you for making me feel welcomed and showing me something mm-hmm. i never seen before because i never seen vtubers until you came in to my life so thank you Same, it's still, though, it's still like a really niche, niche thing it is i mm-hmm. do think it's beautiful that things are uh, picking up for that because there are so many different people out there starting to shed a skin if you will into something different and something that makes them feel confident and gives them something new mm. to look forward to when they hit that go live or button. just people that don't want to be on camera all the time i know yeah. there are some days where i'm like mm, be so i many really don't want to be on camera today I, i'd not? sub to chase being a vtuber I, I you know give give him a cute <laughs> little tarkov outfit i think that'd be great yeah. i can yeah. kill yeah. a helmet yeah, no, what see? you do is you, that you create yourself a little operator character, <laughs> and you have the eyes your favorite color, like inside a helmet or something, like a baklava or whatnot. There you go. I, I, I think you just sewed him, Koi. You so just like, sewed him. <laughs> so like you can have the Tachanka helmet, have like little glowing eyes in it. You don't even need anything high quality like what I have. Well, mine's even qual- high quality. You just need a little reactive image, and you'll be good. Just have a little guy kitted out. Have his eyes glowing. Heck, it'll be so cute. <laughs> Why is it showing all the OO art? I Go am. Away. I, I'm here for this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we do need to start wrapping up. We're about an almost an hour ten into this, and this we've already talked about where you can short. find us. But uh, Koi, do you want to tell them where they can find you? Oh yeah, sure. Um, you can find me over on Twitch. Twitch.tv, Koizumi TV. Yeah, over on Twitter under the handle Koizumi TV as well. I also have a Discord open for community that I um, do play games in, eat art into, and basically bully my friends. <laughs> <laughs> With love. With love. That's the important thing. I also yes, do want to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, please give Koi a follow. We're so glad they could join us today and share their life with us. This amazing VR world and the errors that come with it. And then coming back into a desktop mode that's just as cool with some scandalous art. (laughs) My art's not that scandalous. How dare you? It's Twitch Twitch friendly. Thank you yet again, Koi, for that. We do also yeah. want to bring out that I believe tomorrow we're getting a special show. Maz, can we talk about that or can we just say that it's going to be something really, really dope? We're it is going to be something really, really show. dope. Uh, I don't know if we can talk about it yet. But Maz, oh. can you tell Can you tell us in chat like uh, what it's about, what we can expect? Also, <laughs> um, 
we do have Jester's Court on Sunday. We don't have anything for Saturday yet. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll figure it out. But anyways, uh, cool. what do you know about awesome. Jester's Court, uh, Chase, coming up since you're a, a cast member? I know nothing because I haven't been there the past two weeks. All I know is that the first episode happened last week, and I think this week is going to be a continuing I will hopefully be joining this week. I'm going to get my character all set up with Jester, and you will see me on there along with Hobbs, Ivy, um, Mecha Bunny. I think Panda's in it, and uh, Fyra's there. So we got a full cast. I think Clue Gaming as well. Clue Gaming is in there now as well. Like I said, I've totally, like, I've been out of the loop because of work. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, Ivy says oh, character creation was week one and some very basic story stuff last week. We go special powers now. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, that'll be cool. All right, guys. Koi, thank you again for joining us. It was a yeah, lot of thank fun. You for having me. We love you, Koi. So cool to see all of the VR thank you for putting up with my, my <laughs> stuff, VR's technology. All right, stream. We're going to hit that raid. We're going to go out. Be sure to check us. Give us a follow here. Give us a follow on all the socials. Check us out on our own channels as well. Dude, and we love out. you very much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.